Department, and another four years with the Department of Ecology Air Quality Program. Um, I am retired from state service and am now a consultant in toxicology. I have concerns about the emissions of this and other proposed plants uh, because we have a smoke problem on the peninsula. We uh, have a lot of wood smoke and during inversions, we approach often the violation standard. But I would also like to specifically speak to the Clean Air Act. When I worked for the Department of Ecology Air Quality Program, I was the person who sent my comments to the administrator of EPA on the proposal for the revision of the Clean Air Act. And I was obliged to point out that those proposals did not meet the standard of being health-based. Both EPA scientists and the Clean Air Science Advisory Board told EPA that they were not meeting those requirements of the law, and yet the standard was set above a level where health effects occur. You might ask, which health effects? Well, we say scientifically mortality and morbidity in plain language, that is death and illness. So during air pollution episodes, which are my main concern, when the daily levels of air pollution occur, people die from heart disease and from lung problems during those air pollution episodes. People go to the hospital, people go to the emergency room because of fine particle exposure from smoke. That is what we are concerned about and we already have a burden on the peninsula of wood smoke during the winter time. I'm not convinced that emissions from this plant will not add to that burden and add to the burden of death and illness. I also have concern because I was the person to oversee the risk assessment for the Spokane uh, garbage to uh, energy incinerator for 12 years. And the reason we had 12 years of oversight over the risk assessment was because the plant did not have sufficient fuel to maintain uh, temperatures that would not produce dioxin and therefore began to seek fuel from elsewhere, for instance, from the Canadian oil field and from uh, burning plastic pesticide containers. So the, the issue of whether there really will be sufficient fuel that will supply this kind of a plant, even though we say we have forests all around, we know that logging is decreasing because of decreases in the building industry, and as fuel, uh, fossil fuel prices rise, it will be more and more difficult to transport sufficient fuel to these plants to maintain them so that they will in fact be paid for. But my main consideration is health. Thank you. So our next speaker is Matt Nakashoya. And again, if you could please state your name for the record yourself. Thank you. For the record, my name is Matt Montes. I'm speaking on behalf of the Economic Development Council of Mason County, uh, Fieldbox 472, Shelton, Washington. I appreciate the opportunity to comment here on the Dodge Air Permit. Uh, this, is, this is a project that will bring needed jobs and economic opportunity to our community, which has an unemployment rate of 10%. Well, let me clearly state that any new opportunity that comes to the state should have proper scrutiny from experts that represent regulatory agencies. It is clear that the Olympic Region Clean Air Agency and its technical experts have clearly done an incredible amount of diligent analysis of the air quality aspects of the Adage project. The conclusion reached by the staff experts that this project will meet all state and federal air quality standards is based on best available science and orchestra should be commended for their scrutiny of this permit application. I take confidence in the analysis and conclusions reached by the experts at ORCA. As in any good process, you've included today's hearing for public comment and for participation. My hope is that the comments you received today are based solely on facts and on this project alone. And any testimony challenging ORCA's process and technical expertise should come with the speakers qualifying themselves to make such statements by providing their educational background, professional experience, and technical expertise to articulate such points. Uh, this process is based on science and fact and should be, that should be respected. Uh, in closing, I would request that ORCA stand by their preliminary determination to continually, conditionally approve this 
great renewable project. Thank you.